All right. Good evening. Good afternoon. Good morning. And welcome to the stream. I'm back. I'm sorry. I took a couple days off. I was beat and uh, I felt like I was getting sick again. We'll get into that stuff later. Let, let me go over here and check. Yeah, I got a throat lozenge going on. Oh. Let me check audio here real quick. Hey, there's audio. Wait. All right. All right. Let's. Um. <clears throat> I have bought a couple of new games, so hopefully soon. Um. Monster, good morning to you. So, like I said, um, a couple of weeks ago. <clears throat> God, excuse me. We, we uh, took possession of our home and a lot of stuff. It just, you know, it's not your, <clears throat> where, where I come from, when you have a home, when you're renting, there's the whole deposit. And if you don't clean it, your deposit is taken and stuff like that. Well, since this was done via family, um, the whole family thing was kind of abused. <laughs> so, um, the, um, it's not a disaster. It's not like a hoarder's home. It just, uh, not everything was moved out. So we had to get a big dumpster. And for the most part, <clears throat> I would say about, I'm gonna say 90% of the heavy lifting is done. We have two rooms that have got carpet that we have to pull up. And uh, we got a lot of, <sighs> so the house is kind of what, what we call it's in the country a little, uh, I guess you could say, you know, it's not out in the boonies or anything like that. There's paved road, electricity, plumbing and stuff like that. But back in the day, the road wasn't paved. There was no, no, you know, community plumbing or, uh, you know, community services or anything like that. So, um, the woods as we call it, which is it's on one acre and in the wooded area, um, there's some tires like about, I don't know, and tires um and some miscellaneous just stuff that has to be pulled out which i tried to do unbeknownst to me since i'm a california boy i've been in the woods before there's briars so my legs got all sliced up so i gotta wear pants <clears throat> anyway so um doing all this cleaning and stuff like that i uh, probably breathed in a lot of dust so i'm still raspy but and I, I feel like I'm sick. I mean, I sound like I'm sick, but I don't feel like I'm sick. All right, so last time we had some internet issues when we were in the middle of automating some stuff. Last night, I went and uh, collected a lot of resources and was thinking about the next thing after we automate and uh, get food cooking and stuff like that. What's the next thing? Well, I wanna work on uh, better power generation. So we were over here we got the CO2 automated. Oh, it's too much. Can I just go there? That's what I want. Um, put this at four. <clears throat> All right. So we want to do the same thing here that we're doing here. Oh, you know what? I got a better idea. Hang on. Let's uh, paint the chips i need uh white and yellow <clears throat> so anyways that's i did that on thursday um and friday <laughs> and saturday saturday not so much um what am i looking for oh yeah paint i want yellow oh you know what should probably do some smelting here so <clears throat> my 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 um Wow, we got a lot of stuff. Um, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Hang on. I'm getting severely distracted. So I don't know. Um, there's ice, oxide. I need a lot of oxygen. If no, a lot of nitrogen. Anyways. So what we're gonna do here is, um, what is in the pipe? 
All right, let's um, let's clean this out. So if we, that's closed. Turn this on. Let's empty out this pipe. For the most part. So anyways, there's a there's a shed. It's a it's an old metal shed that's rusted out in some spots, but it's still a good shed. Um, and that had God, just so much old, like I had a whole bandsaw in there and an old weed eater, all this stuff just, you know, hadn't been used in easily 10 years and it was all rusted. And so, yeah, in the garage, there was this cabinet, the contents were gone, but we didn't want to use the cabinet. So I had to break that down. There was, um, a door that went to a closet. So the bathroom expanded, got enlarged, and to do the and to get the space, we took the closet from the room next to it. So we still had the door, and the framework. So I'd take that apart because I don't want to throw the wood away because wood is expensive still. Um, so I broke that down yesterday. Yeah, I got an early Christmas present. I got a toolbox, nice one too put that together yesterday all right so I want to I want to get this pipe nearly empty because I'm not too sure what um, oops uh, that's new I'm not too sure okay that should be good enough put that there and um, Oh, wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> um, yeah, should be okay. Turn this on. Uh, close all that. Oop, not that. <clears throat> that, no, not that. Hey, stop. Oh. All right, so if we crush this, is it adding nitrogen? So it's at 854 moles. All right, so that's giving us strictly nitrogen. Oh, that's nice. All right, cool. I like that. Because nitrogen is what I want to use for, um, for a cooling gas. My wife said I can't give her kitchen stuff as presents. If she gave, if she gave me a toolbox, I would not be amused. Oh. <laughs> now she um. She she's a fan of Bill Nye, and he had a thing on. Um, on a site of his that you could buy an auto, uh, an autographed picture and he would sign it himself and put a, a phrase of, of your choice on there. Something, of course, you know, not derogatory. Do I have any more? Oh, I think I did. That's copper. There it is. Yeah. All right, so this is mainly nitrogen. That's cool. Nitrogen was always hard to get and I like using nitrogen <clears throat> for an inert gas to keep things cool. So we're gonna we're gonna melt we're gonna cru hang on. We're gonna cru well hey I will show you um I think I can do this. Thinking about it. There we go. Uh, um It's my toolbox. That's our garage part of it. So uh, I put that together last night. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oops, check. All right. Hey, Pythos, how you doing, man? Long time no see. We're just uh, crushing some ice, collecting some gases, <clears throat> you know.
trying to uh, do a little bit of automation on the greenhouse. They changed the farming, so um, I don't know if the code I have will work for the uh, Harveys anymore. So we're gonna we're gonna see about that. I don't know. Um, it's not on the sheet, but um, and I, I, I'm not doing a control test. I was just looking at it, it's not a lot of O2. Well, I you know, I guess what? Um, Let's actually find out. So that's all crushed, right? That's all crushed. Let's go ahead and completely empty out this pipe. Big couple Power minutes. Low. Turn that on. All right. So we're not smelting. Um, the back pressure regulators might be doing some stuff over here. I don't think so. <clears throat> Sun's getting ready to come out. Let's see if we can uh, completely empty this pipe. The only other source of gas coming into it would be from here. So we can go turn that off temporarily. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so. Wow, all right, cool. All right, let's turn these off temporarily. I don't think we're gonna overpressurize in here. Oh, geez, what'd I do? Oh, I'm doing that wrong. Well, I didn't write any of the code for the Harveys and they changed, it looks like they changed Possibly the seeding pro maybe they didn't I don't know but um Right, okay Um yeah, they'll the and you can also, there's a stage where I believe they'll seed and then they'll fruit too. The wording has changed. So the Harvey, the Harvey process I have, um, well, can't look at it right now. The Harvey process I had will, will add a seed wait till the seeding, pull the seeds, and then wait and then do the fruit. And uh, if there's another seed in the hopper, it'll reseed. I did that last time on Mimas. I was trying to uh, do f <laughs> food as fuel, but it didn't work out too well. Okay. So we're waiting for this to get pretty darn empty here. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, <clears throat> filter that that's pretty cool what is 296 at 296 kelvin to celsius yeah that'll be fine mm. the only thing with the sun out i can't i can't crush any ice so uh all right let's let that run its course Go over here and grab yellow and white paint. So I have a pre-mixed atmosphere, which a lot of people don't agree with it, but I'm doing 90% O2, 10% CO2. And I dumped that into this room. 
using a pressure regulator set to 101. And what I do is I have a direct CO2 feed and a direct O2 feed. And what I'm doing is I have a sensor in there. And right now I'm checking for the carbon dioxide ratio. Uh, which for some reason I can't see. Oh, wait. Um, okay, let's see. So yellow matches. So that's this way you know this is for the CO2. <clears throat> um, so if it goes below 10%, then we turn on volume pump, which is only set to two liters. I know tomatoes are meaning they'll keep going until they die or get pulled. Oh, okay, well, we do have a tomato to test. <clears throat> and this is the oxygen. It's going to do the same thing, except for we're going to wait for the 90%. Oops. And which I think we're, we're actually, our ratio is below where it should be. Let's go put this back. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not an expert on the new farming or anything like that. I barely got the other stuff to work. All right, how are we doing here? All right, we're just going to let that keep running. All right, so let's finish up wiring. Yeah, somebody did. Exp someone did tell me that. think of that's everything all right um so let's uh let's deal with pride on the naming convention here this is going to say o2 oh, wrong chip Oh, my ears pop. All right. And oh. This is set for That's 10%. So that means 90% would be should be that. All right that away all right so just like this we're reading that um sensor right there which is called gas sensor new greenhouse that's, that's what i called it We want to read oxygen ratio. And then right now we're below 90%. So when this, if this works, we should see, oh, you know what? Hang on. <laughs> I made the mistake last time of not connecting the O2, so, uh, or the CO2. So let's go downstairs, get that all connected.
Oh wait, so did that get line get all drained? That's zero, so we can turn that off, save some power. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, filter this. Really cold. Yep. So that means the heater should kick on. There they go, good. What was I doing? Oh yeah. Go downstairs. And that oxygen is connected. Oh, and it's on. All right. We're good. I don't have to do it. Last time I forgot to connect the lines. All right. All right, so the batch rider is gonna operate volume pump O2. It's gonna look at the compare unit. Why didn't it see volume pump? Interesting. Oh, there it is. Sorry. That's, that's not right. Why is this not going in alphabetical order? Oh, you know why? That needs to be a logic writer. That's a problem. Now maybe this will make a little bit more sense. Not with that tool. So once again, we want to look at the logic compare. And now we should see, there we go turn that on and then this will compare the logic reader and if it's less than the logic memory so if we turn this on we should get a one yay turn that on that gets turned on so these are gonna probably start going back and forth a little bit until it equalizes. Go in there and take a look. So we got 295 moles, 296. So it's going up. I know, I know. I'm not gonna do any welding. So we need to turn these on. Because we're adding a gas. So we wanna make sure we maintain the proper levels. So right now it's 106. And now the O2 is at 90%. That's still on. 
just might take a while for it to register. Yeah, it's going to go back and forth. I think it's going to work. Alright, with that said, now there's probably... <clears throat> Um, that's done. So let's turn this off. So again, I want to get a a little bit of a reading off this nitrogen or this nitrogen ice. I'm going to turn these back pressure regulators off, empty that pipe, start crushing some of that stuff. Oh, it's 113 degrees in here. All right, uh, 114. Um, is my logic not working? 90 and 10. And now the CO2 is turning on. All right, they're gonna they're gonna battle with each other. I think I got some time. I think the windows can go up to 150. I put um that, I, oh there it is This needs to hurry, hurry, hurry. Um, gas is a little chilly. <clears throat> God, excuse me. that's going to be fine. All right, let's start crushing some of this stuff and uh, we'll take a look at the ratio. It's going to be a little off, but it should be close. I like to use nitrogen as the cooling gas for trying to refrigerate something <clears throat> in a room, like the gas generator, trying to cool stuff down. I used it last time. It was uh, pretty nice.
So we'll get all this crushed. We'll take a reading on the brown pipe, see what it says. And uh, we'll have a rough idea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sun's coming around. I'm planning on storing X for a refrigerant. Now I, I use X for the waste lines of like um, AC units and wall coolers. But what I did last time when I got the gas generator almost 100% automated, I was surrounding it with nitrogen, cold nitrogen. And that worked out pretty darn good. And to keep the nitrogen cool, I took a, um, I took a non-insulated uh, tank, and uh, again, I filled a, a one-frame chamber with nitrogen and had passive cooling in a large array, which I used X in. All right, so that's all empty. Let's see what we got. Actually, I don't even have to use this. This should give us a pretty good even statement. So 90 and 10, 90% nitrogen, 10% nitrous oxide. Cool. All right. Okay. Let's start dumping that. Go back over here. Try to fix our problem. Hundred sixteen. That's not good. Okay, that O2 is still on. So for some reason, oxygen <clears throat> is still being consumed. So we're going to set these to say 90%. 95. Try to start backing off this pressure. So it's 145, 144. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let that work. We're gonna go turn off the logic. Use water as an energy battery. Oh, cool. Right, let's go turn off the logic for these guys. So it'll stop pumping gas in there. And let's make sure that's working. All right, so we're down to 138. So back pressure regulators are working. So we're gonna set this to say, um, whoa, not that. 101. All right, so let's see here.
Hmm. All right. I just made those potatoes are quite yummy. The tomato is growing moderately well towards. That doesn't moderately, so something has changed. Maybe the pressure was too high. Temperature. Temperature is uh, 31 degrees. Being maintained by that. <clears throat> oh, it's possible. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's possible. I mean, the sun comes out. Let's, um, adjust that. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's drop this down to, say, 25. So I want to change my suit. Match. that's fluctuating so much for weird that's really weird You got me on that. I, like I said, I haven't delved too much into the new farming. All right, so the temperature is um, 26 degrees. Still moderately thriving. Yeah. Let's see here, if we um, turn this on. The temperature is fine. The pressure is good. As far as I can tell, everything's fine. I'm no genetic expert. Maybe tomatoes are just very temperamental now. I don't know. Uh, 
Um, on the cheat sheet today, Bert, by chance, update like the temperature. Uh, it's going to be different, right? It's going to be different for all the plants. So that's not going to help. Temperamental for temperature. Yes, they are. Oh my. I have all itch. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was not intentional, but. All right. I think we're, we can come back to this in a little bit. I wonder why the Harvey didn't plant. Maybe it's facing the wrong way. All right, we're gonna do some smelting. Um, okay, that doesn't need to be on anymore. <sighs> right, so <clears throat> the gas temperature is regulated by heat exchanges, which I key off of my water. It didn't have a smiley face or anything. It was kind of strange. I'm going to disassemble it and flip it around and see if that matters. Um, right. So let's get some basic ores being. So what do we got down here? Oh, oxide. Oh, that'd be nice. Um, the melt. Let's get that going. Yeah, I had them automated in my other one. It worked really good. You could set it to do seeds or not seeds. You can tell it to pull one seed, two seeds. There's a setting for three seeds, but that doesn't exist. So I might my, my my new code or the code that I've been using may or may not work. I want to do it manually first, make sure the Harveys are still working like they used to. I'm going to optimize his egg production by breeding the best chickens. I think that's a joke. <clears throat> right because um so your chickens got to make better eggs so the eggs will produce better chickens so it sounds like a you want to be excellent yeah i got it again because otherwise you're you, you gotta I, I guess you could i don't know I think tonight, if Alex and I are be beat, uh, Alex got to go into work this morning. And then we're going to go to Home Depot or Lowe's, probably Home Depot. We're picking out appliances for the home. Sherry, we, we, we're going with LG. <clears throat> um, in a pretty good deal. And, um, while we're there, I need to get some uh, some stuff for uh, cleaning linoleum from a ZEP ZEP or something like that. I'm going to try this stuff out. I watched some guy use on uh, YouTube. Oh, geez. It's not good. Yeah, you got to be careful with them, you know, breeding chickens. So anyways, the plan tonight, first time ever, we're going to do in the Instapot a beef stew. You know, carrots, potatoes, meat, peas. 
because it's been chilly so a nice hot bowl of beef stew sounds really good <clears throat> There was um this kind of documentary thing called um Super Size Me where this guy for for a month would eat all of his meals from McDonald's. And if he was asked if he wanted to supersize it, he would have to say yes. And what they did is they tracked all of his nutritional information and and all that kind of stuff and they did they did some of these weird studies to where they put the food in containers to see how they reacted over time and it's funny the burgers went bad but the fries did not look like they, they got stale but they didn't go bad you know they didn't get brown and ugly so uh and the reason why i'm even saying this is he went and did another one about uh having a um not a chick-fil-a but his own chicken restaurant a fast food chicken restaurant and he had to find um a chicken farmer you know so he would have chickens and uh it was a, the, the process that he learned that he shared was uh quite elaborate because you know you want humane treatment of the chickens and all that kind of stuff all right so that's good all right let's um do oh so that's empty what do we got up here copper um silicone yes There we go. Wait, I'm I'm missing a Oh, there it is. All right, empty. We got copper and iron. All right. Uh, yes, yes. I actually grew up on a farm. We're about, well, my, my youth up to the first grade, I was on a farm and I didn't do much. I just knew animals and stuff like that. Then I, um, went and, uh, went to school in Nevada. That's where my dad was. And I was there for a couple years. So, and he had a working farm. Hey, what? That wasn't fun. All right, so we have got so there's oxygen, there's no hydrogen or volatiles in here. Yeah, so we can we can go ahead and mix this. <clears throat> Oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, pollutants. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then what, what I'm going to do is all this is very, very cold. And what it's doing is it's forcing my heaters to stay on, which is draining a lot of power. So they're doing what they want to do. So how I 
kind of help counteract that is I'm going to run a we're going to smelt some uh, some steel here um, and then we're going to dump hot gas and let it balance out alright so let's go over here and check stuff see how it's going oh excuse me So this coming Friday, red, red, oh, look at that, some growth. Um, red Munchkin, Car Toys and myself, we're either gonna play um, Borderlands 3 or um, the Cosmeteer architecture game uh, or something like that, maybe. De definitely might be border. Is what it is, is I, I'm not getting burned out on survival games, but you know, you can't play, well, you can. Factorio, Satisfactory, Stationeers. You can't just, uh, you're gonna get kind of burned out on the whole survival. Oh yeah, I almost uh, almost blew up my furnace twice trying to make Invar. Yep. All right, how are we doing in here? So we're at 102. Um, right. Oh, uh oh, 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 that's weird. V tube, what is V tube? Is that the software you use? So the pressure looks good. CO2 percentage is down. Temperature is cooler. All right. <clears throat> Isn't that when you have an avatar instead of a cam? Oh yeah, right. Well, try to do it without the avatar first. YouTube is streaming with avatars like red. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Yeah, red doesn't do that anymore, but yeah. Try it without the uh, avatar software and see if that's causing you a problem. I tried that for, for a little bit just to see how it was. So, all right, I forgot. What are these set for? These are set for 101. All right. The purple is circulating the cooled air. So, if we're not adding any gas, why is this not going down to 101? Is it just because the displacement uh, no no stationers is fine the other softwares are in the background so OBS and the avatar software just start chugging oh I got you I got you well the sun is out so that makes sense um all right let's try something here let's um Let's lower the temperature two more degrees. That makes sense. If if you have a pressurized room and it gets warm, the pressure goes up. So let's drop this down two more degrees. Um, how are we doing here? Okay, that's staying cold good this is what's throwing me for a loop why does oh maybe i'm getting a bad read so let's see here that should work just fine all right
All right, 24 degrees Celsius. I'm happy with that. I don't know why that fluctuates. Is that fluctuating because it's like engaging, disengaging, you know, trying to keep it cool, not cool? Weird. All right, and our temperature is at 101. All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of more fine tuning. So we're gonna drop this down to 100. All right, so um, let me think about this. The output, I've got to do it like this because if I do another row of, of uh, planters, then I want the output, because that's the output. I want the output, so I, those are facing the right direction. Oh, there we go. It's got a smiley face. He didn't have a smiley face last time. Hey, grab potato. It's gonna. All right. Again. There we go. That's fine. So if I take a seed. So they work. I was just doing it wrong. Um, all right, so So right now the O2 is, the CO2 is a little low. So if we go and turn on the logic, we turn on the logic for the CO2 and for the O2. All right, CO2 added and then stop. Perfect. All right, cool. All right, so I don't think we have to babysit that anymore. Um, turn this off. Heaters are still on, so that means our batteries are gonna be low. Um, Okay, let's turn that off. All right, let's try to heat up some gas here. So we're gonna make some uh, some steel. So let's make sure. So the gas has been off. I did that on purpose because I was just trying to drain the pipe a little bit. Yeah, all right. So we're gonna have to turn that back on. All right, how much gas do we got in the tank here? There we go, all right. So let's go with, um, oh, not that much. Oops. Let's do 400 kilopascals. And then while we're waiting for that, let's go get the ingredients we need for... No, actually, let's do... Let's do a big batch. So 
crank this up to 700. Pardon me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, look at my batteries. They're all beat up from the heater. Um, so now I need 300 iron. All right, 150 and 50. Yeah, 300 iron. That's 700 kilopascals. Light that up. So I think we got a rudimentary automated greenhouse for growing. We just got to get the, hey, there's steel. All right. So now we're just going to dump all of this very, very warm gas. Um, into the system. And then we're going to cool it down to like, um, oh, wait a minute. looks like the heaters have done their job. They have. Look at that. So all the gases are back to 30 degrees Celsius. Nice. <clears throat> all right. Well, typical, typical me, daylight and a dollar short. So we got some logic here that looks for, um, five megapascals and this gets the five this turns on and turns off when it gets down to five kilopascals and then we do a cooling process so i don't i don't have to worry about bursting a pipe here all right um let's um let's grab a computer um i guess i can just use that one Hey, Batman, what's up? Computer, stop. Um, so we've got a computer, but it's got the sorting motherboard. So let's swap this with the IC editor. It's render. Hey, thanks for the follow there. It's render. Um, let's take a look at um, what's up flip all right let's turn that off we need a There it is. Perfect. <laughs> I know what that means. How you doing, Thomas? Uh, let's put this like right, right there. Grab some cables here. Actually, we're gonna wait until all this is done. Oh, speaking of cables, looks like I'm a little low. 
Oh, we're out of cables. All right, let's make some cables. And that on. And that on. You thought it was space engineers. Uh, stationers. All right, so this one's going to make standard cables. And we don't have too much copper, so let's go grab some copper. Add that there. This one's going to make heavy cables. And we have enough golden copper. All right, so let's fire that up. I don't want to add anything here because I don't want to upset the arc furnaces and the logic, so. There you go. So is the furnace empty? Furnace is empty, so we can turn that off. Yeah, it is. Wasn't F disc what you used to defrag? Wasn't there a F disc space slash defrag? Or was that F disc for partitioning? Can't remember. been a long time since uh since i had to do that um go get some drink Alex is here. Alex waved. Guys, I'll be right back.
All righty, I'm back. Oops. All right. Um. Came in here for water. Got water. And found a broken 286 in the trash and fixed it. I would love to find along the side of the road or or somewhere. I would like to find an old generator or a generator and try to do some small engine repair. So I don't. Whoa. Um. All right, so pipes can do 60 megapascals. Let's see what <clears throat> let's see what happens here. I want to raise the temperature of this gas. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. But I do not want to go over 50 megapascals. There's not much gas there. Let's stop that. Oh, no, no. Oh. All right, let's go ahead and just uh, filter this. So that should give us a lot of nitrogen, right? Yeah. And the temperature's going to drop down. Probably not. I think I'm going to raise this temperature. Um, hang on a sec. Uh, I guess 30 degrees Celsius is pretty okay. All right. Um, all right. Let's one more time. Let's go check. Plants are growing. Um, I'm making a generator to run on water converted HO. I've seen, I've seen someone do that. Yeah, I've seen, I, I think that's, uh, I mean, <clears throat> I actually have some very basic do-it-yourself equipment for solar. Um, I have two uh, 335 watt solar panels. I have a solar charge controller, Victron. I have um, a 3000 watt inverter from Renogy and I have one 100 amp hour lithium battery and I've got all the components bus bars fuses and stuff like that that as soon as <laughs> as soon as I get the garage in basic ship shape um, and me and Alex were just talking about we're gonna go to Home Depot we're gonna look at appliances for the house and um, the floors the floor in the the bathroom was completely remodeled in fact the home and I tell everyone that's everything the home has got brand new plumbing. It's all got PEX uh, for the plumbing and the PVC. The only area that's got PVC is um, for the sink area. That's the only place where there's a PVC pipe. Uh, otherwise, everything else is PEX. The wiring, the old two wire uh, rattlesnake has been ripped out and replaced with um, a Romex. So it's all grounded. We've got a new sub panel. The old sub panel was the one where you had the glass fuses you had to uh, screw in. That's how old this house is. But when you when you got brand new plumbing, brand new electrical, the the nervous system, as I call it, is 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 what you want to get at. And right now the, the home is very structural. The foundation is so dry because there's a thermal layer down there, um, and it's basically a rectangular home. But the uh, it's got one, two, three rooms have got hardwood floors, but there's carpet on top of two of them. So we have to pull up that carpet, look at the shape of the hardwood floors. Um, the bathroom was completely remodeled. So we have to do a hallway, five rooms, six rooms, um, so, and some painting and stuff like that. So we've got probably anywhere from three to four to maybe five months of spackling, sanding, painting, repainting, and stuff like that. We're having all new doors 
uh, all new exterior doors um, replaced. We're going to have some people help with cabinetries. The lower cabinets were ripping out, getting new ones in. Upper cabinets are staying. So anyways, we're trying to find some stuff to, to help get rid of um, uh, the one of the rooms. There was a, a carpet on top of linoleum just to, you know, make it nice to walk so it's not always cold. But they used double-sided tape to make sure it stayed down because uh, there used to be an elderly person there that would sometimes trip. Um, so when I pulled up the carpet, some of that double-sided tape I couldn't get off. We even scraped it off, but there's still remnants of it. So we're going to try to find this product called... Hang on. Called Zep. Floor stripper, I think. Yeah. Anyways, so I think we're good. I think we can leave this. And I want to go hook up Nicey Housing and see if the Harvey code will work. Goop adhesive. Yeah, I know about Goop. Hey, Ben, how you doing? Good morning to you. For, for those who don't know that Ben... Oh, that's right. We're doing wires, cables. All right. Um, ben is actually the brains of this Stationers. Pro not this particular one. But uh, as soon as they get the uh, multiplayer working again, we'll have Ben in here on Sundays. Wow, look at my batteries are drained. Uh, I watched this guy's uh, YouTube channel. It says, here's like 10 things you can't live without. And I was just kind of looking at what he was talking about. And um, I was trying to figure out a way to, when you paint walls, you're going to paint on old paint. But again, you might have some holes that you want to spackle. So there's going to be some sanding and stuff like that. But, you know, usually when you repaint, you just put paint over paint. Now, this is some older walls. And what's kind of bad looking is the baseboards. Whoever painted over the last time didn't really clean them. So we have to go through and clean them, maybe sand them. And so that way it looks nice. So I was looking for something that would clean the baseboards. Um, Alex found these uh, baseboard cleaners that are coarse, kind of like the, uh, what is it called? The Oh Daddy scrubbers and stuff like that. We're looking for something that's going to actually get the crime, to get the grime, the grime. And some of these floors, like I said, the adhesive, ugh, I, I just, we don't want to clean them to use them. We want to clean them so we can resurface them and uh, not worry about, you know, a problem coming back through. All right, so... Um, swap that. Oh no, don't that. All right, cool. That off. Uh, all right, stop that and swap that. And now we got some cable. Um, are we all done smelting? We're all done smelting, so let's go clean that up. All right. A little bit of silicone. All right, so let's wire this in. Really? All right. <clears throat> um, yeah. We have a, a smaller room where we're going to test out what we think we want to do. This room is a smaller bedroom. Um, it's got four windows. <laughs> um, and the, the 
last time it was painted, they just painted paint over paint. So the windows are the ones where it's got the little latch and you know you can see the paint build up. So we got a lot of sanding to do. It's also got a small AC unit in one of the windows. So we got to pull that out, make sure the window works. Um, so as a smaller room, we're going to test out our process of cleaning the baseboards, the floors, um, finding any nails, pulling them out, patching the holes, sanding, uh, and then painting. Yeah, we got respirators. All right, so that's done. So I need an icy chip. Do I have a spare one? I don't. Yeah, that's... <clears throat> I was on and off using the respirator when I was doing all the sweeping out of the shed and stuff like that. That's why I'm hoarse. I probably breathed in some stuff I didn't want to. I see chip. Now, not loud. We've already, we've tested. We've had a, a guy out to look at the duct work to check for asbestos. No asbestos. All right. All right. Um, not that that needs to be in there. So let's turn this on. So I should have something Harvey controller. That's it. Um, I think I want to change this to, <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's terrible. Hang on one sec. back probably what's not good is i got sick barely recovered <laughs> and i've been going over there when it's cold and sand paint or fiberglass definitely need a bunny suit yeah. <laughs> well let's see here <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry. Let's change this to uh, two. All right. Turn that off. <clears throat> turn that off. Um... <clears throat> hey, rarest, how the heck are you doing? Oh, wait. I don't need another one of those. That was close. I need the housing. That's what I need. So in sweeping out a garage and an old shed. Ooh, Kerbal, nice. Going after an asteroid. Asteroid catching. I'm pretty sure uh, my system is trying to get rid of some of the gunk I might have breathed in. All right. Turn that off. <clears throat> um, let's grab this chip.
<laughs> no, I've, I've seen those in... No, I don't want to do that. No. All right, so... Pressure is good. Temperature is good. I like it. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this housing... Right here. Chip in there. <laughs> and, um... We only got two Harveys to work with here, so that's good. Um, um, I need some wires. So, wires. <clears throat> All right, so let's um, figure out some naming conventions here. RV. That's original. So we want this to be um, I can't remember if the Harveys are on this side. I got to go look at the code. <clears throat> Give me. Let's see here. So, So zero, one, and two. So the hydroponics is on the left, right? Yeah, so zero, one, and two. So the hydroponic devices are on the right. Harvey's are, are on the, I'm sorry, hydroponics are on the left. Harvey's on the right, all right. <clears throat> I've never used one. I, I watched someone use it for the first time. Ugh. Dang it. I forgot. I forgot. I got distracted. Um, hydroponics left. All right. I usually don't have a sinus problem. <clears throat> um, I don't have allergies. Alex is trying to convince me I do have allergies. Means I moved. So this needs to be a hydroponics. So let's do hydroponics device. Oh geez. Okay, and this will be two. One, two, and this will be Harvey. This will be Harvey too. Oh. All right, cool. I think I think it might work. Oh, I'm I'm stuck.
Um. Took the seed, but didn't do anything. Oh, all right. <clears throat> all right, well, let's see if this gets into uh, a routine. So we're gonna have to take the output, send it to a sorter, We take the output straight this way. So this is going to be the food processing room. <clears throat> we take the food, send it through here, drop it down, hit a sorter, say, um, you had wood job. If you're a seed, we're going to send it back through. We'll hit it with a stacker and send it back through. Oh, then it has to go to a sorter. Oh, this is going to get ugly. We got room so we're gonna hit a sorter are you a seed if you're food food then goes and gets cooked and, and whatnot and then the seeds will hit a stacker uh how am i gonna do this we had uh we had this really nice cheesy chicken pasta last night that we put uh, bacon chunks in. Um. The only thing is, is I, I don't have this room set up yet. I use a, a Teflon and I use Pam and uh, they don't stick. Thinking through the process here. So the Harvey still work. <clears throat> I don't know why this one isn't doing what it needs to do. Let's go cook these potatoes. Oh. Now, I'm not a chef, but I did watch a channel to where the guy had a stainless steel and he says it's all about getting the right heat. And uh, I would just think that's going to take forever if you're not a professional chef. All right, there's our microwave. Potato. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> Baked potato. Score. All right. I don't need this anymore. is that going to take to decay 3.7 hours Thanks. um i know i can put a refrigerator in it um i know there's a refrigerated um uh, vending machine Is there a potato soup? Or... 
Nope. Or is there? Nope. Check our power. Whoa. All right. This heater is going to be on for a while. figure out what I want to do here oops sorry this is my food processing room we don't have an atmosphere or anything in here we have to sort the output that airlock is not <clears throat> I need to put an atmosphere in here so I guess we should start that um yeah all right power critical oh all right all right <clears throat> um all right let's go take care of some other stuff here Excuse me. No. Waste time critical. So we're gonna need a passive vent and a regulator. Let's see if we got those. There's a regulator. All right. So this room has got no atmosphere. It's got an airlock, which I think is just a, a standard airlock. So I need to... Um, Take down a window here so I can get in here. And I believe all the windows. This has got to be programmed still. That's just going to push atmosphere back and forth. That'll be okay. That's kind of okay. Alright, so speaking of atmosphere, let's, um, let's put it down here again. Uh. Hey, Ray, thanks. How you doing? Uh, All right. So we need a passive vent. Um, the reason why I don't want to put it right here, and yes, I'm going to stretch a bunch of pipe over there, is the chutes are going to come over here, drop down, and we're going to manipulate them here. I don't want this stuff to be in the way. So with that said, let's grab a whole bunch of insulated pipe. Um, 
gonna have to do some tunneling, I think. Yeah, we're gonna do some tunneling. Get frames. Let's go sheets. That's not going to be enough sheets. So we're gonna start working on the food preparation room, even though I'm not completely ready for it, or it's not, yeah, we're, we're, we're growing food. We have a little bit of automation in place for gases and harvesting. What, what does that look for? Oh yeah. Um, but I need to get an atmosphere so I can work in there. Um, what am I looking for here? Sheets. A little bit nervous running out of power here. Um, when the sun goes down, we're going to start feeding that some coal. That's because of the heaters. Yeah. some more insulated pipe some more steel hey we just made steel oh. get a little low on steel
Yeah, reusing bacon grease is awesome. Oh, I didn't know about that. Uh, I'd have been. Um, that there. So uh, hook up some pipes now. Um, might be easier if I take frames out. Atmosphere is actually stored here locally. So I'm just going to drop down and do a junction. And we still have to bring uh, the O2 and CO2, and those can scoot along, and we'll basically just replicate that. Um, I just, I'm just trying to have not have too many pipes. The surface. So that's the feed into the storage.
and then that we have to put up okay that's already connected um all right so we can connect this let's see here we have a shut off valve so let's go ahead and that's off all right good Should see some gas. All right. Um, so I need to get see here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight passive vents. Apparently, with processing one pound of bacon grease, we make one pound of explosive. Wow. Interesting. All right. I'm going to fire up the generator here. Good. Um... So we're still going to do um, see here. volume pumps going to be there. That needs okay. So that's our that's that. Let's go ahead and put see so the. Hmm, I guess I need to put the equipment in the middle of the room because I can't put it here. This will be the O2, CO2. pressure regulator and I guess we can do it on the opposite side of the room You guys, do me a favor, don't talk about explosives in here, all right? So we need... So what do we have here? So this is our, oh, that's fine. Power low. <sighs> so the back pressure regulators need how much space? Three spots. So 
this is going to be circulation, which That's circulation. We're gonna have circulation over here. Circulation and then, um, but the other two back pressure regulators. All right, all right, um, let's get these painted so I know what they are. So I need khaki, purple. Actually, hang on. I don't need to feed O2 and CO2 in there because I'm not growing anything in there. Oh, all right, so I don't need all that. Um, I do need khaki. All right, so this is going to be circulation. That's going to be circulation. That's atmosphere. This is back pressure regulators. I need that. I don't need those. Yep. I need to go get brown. Just need brown. Oh. Actually thinking I don't need hmm. I'm not too sure if these machines generate any heat great pressure So to put, I need um, four pressure regulators. Get that going. A lot of regular. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if these ovens and stuff do. So if if I have. If I if I come off the same circular circulatory for keeping things conditioned, um, I should be okay because it, it's a closed loop. Um, back pressure regular, just in case. Yeah, why not? Um, what, oh, pressure. Regular.
Cool. All right. Ugh. Okay, that Harvey's empty. It didn't grab any seeds, but it kicked out potatoes. All right, so... Hmm. All right, so the Harvey code may not be working correctly so let's see. Um, so back pressure regulator back pressure regulator no uh, and oh it's all the brown let's go in and um see if it did keep a seed Last time it, saw it spit out a seed. Those are not the seeds, though. And I gotta. Oh. But it can use a potato, though. That's gonna decompose, I know. This will generate one seed, so. Here's the seed. Okay, then it goes to harvest the potatoes. clears it <clears throat> does it see the input slot Let's see how see how that works. It's supposed to grab two seeds. Oh, maybe I have the code wrong. I put a two, but maybe it's maybe it's, a, it's supposed to be a three. All right, what am I needing over here? I got the Atmo back pressure regulators. Those are going to be. Oh, I gotta dig that up. All right. I go out and down. Right, out. What we'll do is we'll go out, down, out, over. Underneath 
need that. Connect to this one. And probably come underneath all that. Too. Ooh. Hey, editor, how the heck are you doing? All right. Um, so we'll go straight down and loop over and connect to. Insulated. So I think what we're going to have to do is if I want to reuse this, we're going to tie into this and go straight across underneath loop into that one and this one and loop across connect that all right um uh, okay so do that there Um, 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 Hit the wrong key. Uh, drone him more pipe <clears throat> now if I um So if I did this right, I should have a subfloor. Um, I put these guys back.
Yeah, there it is. Yay. All right, cool. Good, because... Let's um let's focus on one thing. Let's get the um so these can be sealed up. I can't. So I need That line's already going over. I can't seal that one because I still have to do that. All right. Um, so now let's finish the waste line. So those all connect, but we have to connect it to that. So we're gonna dig this up, bring a big brown pipe along. And that means that Got to do some more, uh, uh, some more tunneling. So that means I need uh, more frames, more sheets. chunk of coal. All right, let's start making some more frames. And we need regular pipe. We get the, uh, the waistline connected uh, because we do have to maintain a certain amount of pressure. Um, and the Atmo is already hooked up. We just got to get power to it. And then, then we can get power to the back pressure regulators. And then we need to hook up recirc leader circulation.
Infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure. Oh, I didn't get welded. Here, oh, oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, a pipe. So let's go ahead and swap to this. We have to do it here. I guess it just makes sense to tie it into this. This is the waistline. Poopy pipe. So. I want to do this. Does that come out too? Score. Hey, old Grumpy, how you doing? All right, so let's go ahead and tie that in. All right. Um, so all we have to do is get power to those and set those. Power to that, set that. Um, I think we can uh, seal this up.
Grab all these frames. What about here? Um, still working on that. All right, cool. All right. Oh, lost. Um, let's put that there. Grab those. Switch to that. So they're not doing seeds. All right, so I have something programmed incorrectly. They're just doing potatoes. Just don't get me wrong. I want them to make potatoes. I think I set the seating to the wrong setting. All right. So now we got to get purple. So let's go back in here. Drop those in there. Those there. I don't think we need brown pipe anymore, but we'll. Oh, we got to seal that. Hey, bring those back. Oh. Alright. Um. <sighs> Purple insulated pipe. Insulated pipe. All right, so I don't think I'm going to need this pink anymore, so we're going to scoop that up. We need those. So we just got to make some. You stay there. And you stay there. That there. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, okay. It's a little, uh, yeah. Well, special. I've got sheets now, that's for sure. Hey Andy, do you got any steel sheets? Oh yeah, I got steel sheets, yeah. What did the horse say <clears throat> after he tripped? Help, oh, I've fallen and I can't giddy up. <laughs> nice.
All right. Hmm. All right, let's just go with this and let's see how far we can get. It's going to be a little tricky. So tomorrow I'm going to try a new game. I'm going to try Astro Colony. Uh, what do you call an angry carrot steamed vegetable? Oh, oh yeah. Don't tell broccoli though. All right. Um, All right, so what I want to do is I do not want to put another one of these down there. I just want to feed off the cooling for this one. So since we know that we have a sub floor right here, I'm not going to lose any atmosphere. So what I got to do is, first of all, connect. Oh, geez. I need to connect this other vent. I'm having a mouse problem. Yeah. Weird. Dang it. change this up a little bit because first I don't, I don't if if I if I turn on the cooling if I connect it it's going to re start recirculating the air between the rooms which means it's going to lower the pressure in there actually ooh, that would be a good test that would be a really really good test but I am going to put a shutoff valve oh geez I'm okay. All right, that gets that connected. Um, hang on, let me think about this. So what if I, I need to weld one frame. Now, if I go that way, I can put pipe, valve. All right. So let's, um, We're gonna have a valve there. That means off the valve we go down. And this is gonna go through. And we're gonna connect that one to that. I need a valve. 
And more insulated pipe. I have a valve in this other locker. All right, so let's do a valve. A few of the, oh, you know what? There might have been one in that other locker. I didn't look. That's enough. All right, well, those are printing out. Let's go and install this. Oh, no, that won't work. But still, okay. So, oh. um, there, okay. <laughs> there, all right, that works. All right, so I can weld those four pieces up. So Artemis, or I'm sorry, Orion, whatever the spacecraft is called, is like very, very close to the moon. So cool. Can't wait till they send pictures. I mean, you know. Hey, Guardian, how you doing? All right, so we can do that one. And do that one. Cool. All right, so... Um, let's... Uh, thank you. I forgot. Oh, I did have valves here. Doggone it. <sighs> oh, I think that's probably plenty. Yeah, so the last I saw, which is a little bit behind the times, um, 79,000 miles to the moon. It's going 812 miles per hour. <laughs> it's fast. All right, let's um, grab this. You are purple. You are now purple. So this is gonna test our automation, right? So we have automation to make sure we keep a certain ratio of O2 and CO2 in here for the growth of nothing. <laughs> um, hang on. I got potatoes.
Uh, let's see. Put you there. You there. Oh, I put all. Uh oh. Dang it. I put all the. Oh. Can I have that? Oh, thank you. It's, um. <clears throat> There we go. Plant and plant. Boom. Hey. On you too. There you go. We're we're kind of halfway on the maybe a quarter on the automation. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some problems here. So that's sealed. That's sealed and we have a sub floor. So I need to dig up all of this floor. Yep, I'm gonna do it. Watch me. I double dog dare you, okay. Yeah. And we're not gonna lose any atmosphere, but I'm curious, our percentages should drop, maybe? And the automation should try to compensate. That one's not even connected. Oh, that's why that one's not working. All right, so hang on. Oh, here. all right, so we're gonna uh, grab this up down here. That's right. Big and all. Oh, iron. All right, uh, um, um, here. You, um, Go there. Hang on, we gotta we gotta fix something, then I'll take care of the iron. So I forgot that when I move. I'm, okay. All right. So. Um. First things first. Have this do that. That. Um. That. Um. I'm thinking for clearance. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was bad. I hate the... Oh, geez. Oh, I'm in trouble. Uh, Elder. Oh, okay. I really wish you could get a smart wrench. I know that the previous thing you did was like pipe, right? That way... I don't actually click through. Alright, um, 
That's interesting. All right, so here's where things get ugly. Welding plates back into place. So right now we have 78 kilopascals. Oh, so the ratio wouldn't change, right? No, it stays the same. Okay. Okay, the problem would be is if I turn this on. Uh, okay, all right. I don't want that out. Okay. So now, if we turn this on, the pressure should start going up. 91. Pressure's going up. Cool. Um, so now here comes an interesting test. Ooh. All right. So this is just the atmosphere recirculated. Um, this room doesn't have any atmosphere yet. Um, that is that is the atmosphere feed. So if I was to close this window up and throw that valve, that would start recirculating all of that into here. And since there's no atmosphere, this would keep pumping in until that reached 101, which means this would reach 101. <clears throat> We're not gonna do that though. I'm going to take a little break. I'll be right back.
temperature low. Temperature critical. Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I see the problems here. All right. Um, what is it? Power? All right. There we go. Temperature low. Well, I should probably pause the game next time I go do that, huh? <clears throat> um, see, will that clear up by itself? Maybe. Do have a pill? Um. All right. So, <laughs> sorry. We got to get power hooked up to this stuff. So, grab this. Grab this. <clears throat> um. Ooh, you know what? Um. I think we'll just um, do this if I can. Oh, <clears throat> I start burying everything. I was gonna bring the power over there to here, connect there, and then use this to connect all four of those. Um, Cause I don't think I wanna drag wires all the way across. do this though and from here we'll go underneath connect to that stuff <clears throat> can oh I, I cannot I'll, I'll have to oh interesting little problem I have created here so if we go that way and down 
Cross. Cross. Oh, jeez. So, can I go down? Can go down, but <clears throat> that ain't gonna work. We have to go that way. That way. Then we can go down. All right, that'll work. <clears throat> again, I've never used the ovens or anything, so I don't know how much room they're going to take up. Probably not much, but all right. And like I said, we'll take this straight out. Connect that there so this all gets stuff. So we need to set this to 101. These are going to be set to. Oh, too much. 100. That is a back pressure regulator, right? <clears throat> back pressure, good. Okay. What the heck am I looking for then? <clears throat> All right, so we should have a sealed room. There's at, no atmosphere. There's no. Why does it say it's 93 degrees in here? That's weird. Um, shouldn't be any temperature. Wow. Okay. All right. So, <clears throat> um. Let's get power. I'm gonna need some more cable. It's weird. Um, I normally don't take naps unless I, I'm sick. And I did take a couple of naps when I was <clears throat> had that nasty flu. And um, Friday, I spent four hours over at the house hauling all this garbage stuff. And some of it was pretty heavy. And uh, I ended up taking it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that, Pythos. Um, all right, so. If we, all right, so let me take the window, which is, uh, what the heck did I do with the window? There it is, the uh, last. So we seal this up. This room is now sealed. <laughs> if we turn this on, Should start seeing some atmosphere. Okay. Take a while. There we go. One kilopascal. <laughs> All right. Now let's we'll see what happens when we turn this on. Because right now it's 30 degrees Celsius because of that. This is colder. The pressure is going up because it's drawing pressure from over there 
that's on to keep that. So we actually have, I, th I think this is gonna work. Yeah, look at the pressure going up. Nice, all right, cool. <clears throat> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I agree. All right, let's go ahead and turn these on. Oh no. All right, so out of here, oh, I got a program that. I don't have a data disk. Dang it. Um, can I just close this door? I can. All right. Oh, look at the pressure's 58 kilopascals in here. <clears throat> All right. But does that mean the ratio has been saying staying the same? So CO2 is a little bit higher and we have the O2 set to 80%. So yeah, we're still good. Oh, we did potatoes again. We're not getting any seeds anymore. I wonder why. All right. Guys, my voice is getting a little raspy. We made some progress. So we got some automation built in to keep certain things going. We got the Harveys kind of hooked up. I need to get some shoots going. And we got our food prep room built and is being pressurized. So tomorrow, like I said, I'm going to try out a new game, Astro Colony. I was part of their uh, Kickstarter, so uh, I got a free key. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, you guys have a good one. Roll some credits here. Do 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 do. It's Render. Thanks for the follow, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. You guys have a good one.